Then you forgot these. Yeah, well, I didn't want another row, did I? The last thing I want is to fall out with you. Then why do you keep having a go at me when I'm only sticking up for you? I don't want you getting dragged into my business. You shouldn't have to look out for me. Well, someone needs to. Anyway, you dropped your keys this morning. Oh, right. Well, these aren't mine. Oh, well, someone must have put them through our door. Well, that must be a mistake or something. So whose are they? I don't know. Whoever owns that, I imagine. I feel like a car thief. You've got the keys. Well, they might not even be for this. That must be a mistake. Excuse me, is this car anything to do with you? Not unless Eric's won the lottery and to save the surprises. No, well, someone put these through our door this morning. Lucky you. Is that some old biker moved in next door? Maybe it's something to do with him. Or well, maybe it's actually meant for you. Oh, yeah, who on earth's going to give me a car? Who do you think? Oh, I'm sure it's nothing to do with Mark. Mum, he's already bribed you to leave once. Maybe he thinks you might get the message and finally drive away this time. Today. Some bird knocked you back last night. I wish there was some bird. Stuck at home, Mum's doing my head in. What's up with her now? Not more car trouble, eh? Yeah, different one this time, though. Someone posted a set of keys through our front door. All right, for some. It's not. You wouldn't catch me complaining if someone left us a motor. Yeah, it depends if it was who left it, though, doesn't it? Finest cheese? No, thanks. It's free. I'm really not hungry. What do you do with him? Well, if it's not his, then whose is it? I even spoke to that biker guy from next door, and he reckons he wouldn't be seen dead in anything with four wheels. Well, it must belong to someone. Cars don't just suddenly appear. 